Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Crown and Comments with Cruise Man. Hope you appreciated my little dance that I did when I came in with my Crown Royal sign. Uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, a quick uh, update. This is something I do usually about once a month. And um, it's sort of motorcycle related, I guess, but I just basically like to sit down and, you know, it's kind of turned in. It, it started out as just reading your comments that you would post on my YouTube channel and Facebook. And I know a lot of uh, channels, a lot of guys do these live, uh, you know, YouTube live type things. And I am not a big fan of of live so i'd rather just record it and edit it down because i don't like watching those live things because they spend all their time saying oh hi bill hey how you doing hey well thank you thank you that you know and it just it just i don't know i find it just to be a waste of time like this isn't anyway the reason i call it crown and comments is because i usually sit down in the evening with my favorite adult beverage which is crown royal which i have right here and I have my computer, my Mac laptop, 16-inch MacBook Pro, piece of crap that crashes on me at least once a week, uh, causing me half a day of work. I thought I'd never say that. I've been using Macintoshes since 1984. But this new M1 laptop with this new system software they came out with about a week or so ago, I mean, it's driving me crazy. Anyway, like I said, this kind of started out as a way to read your comments and respond to your comments. And it's just kind of turned into a cruise man's bitch and moan session, you know, so uh, which I kind of like. You know, but if you like that sort of thing, if you kind of like listening to an old curmudgeon just kind of complain, uh, well, then maybe maybe you need help. Maybe you're in worse shape than I am. I don't know. But if you do, and I, I'm already on fire, and I haven't even had my drink yet, so I haven't even started. It's late. It's For me, it's late. It's about 7.15 at night. I usually have my cocktail around 5, 5.30. So I would imagine I'll go to sleep right after this. In fact, I may pass out during the video, so be be prepared. Uh, I've got a few things I want to talk about just to catch you up on some news. If you see some weird things on my arm or my face, uh, I visited my dermatologist again this week. He really went after me with the uh, uh, liquid nitrogen. I, th I think it's liquid nitrogen, the, the stuff that freezes all the crap off, you know. When you get old and uh, things start falling apart. So anyway, uh, that's if you see some marks on me. Ricky tried to cover up some stuff with makeup because it's uh, pretty gross. It's like Frankenstein's monster out here. Anyway, that explains that. Also lets you know that last night they finally picked up that Indian Pursuit. I've had that thing. It seems like I've had it for three months. I may have. But they finally came and picked it up last night in the biggest trailer I have ever seen in my life. And um, the guy wanted me to drive it up on the ramp on the trailer. I wasn't going to do that. I'm not going to take the risk of the liability. So I pulled it out to the street and I let him take it up the ramp. And if you see in the video, I think you'll see why. I may show you a little clip of that. So anyway, Indian is gone. 2022 Goldwing is still here. I'm still doing some testing and reviews and a few things I'm going to do to that. So we just got back from a cruise a few days ago uh, where we were in the Caribbean, where it was nice and warm, obviously. And we get back here and it's like, you know, 45, 50 degrees, 35 degrees at night. You know, it's really getting cold. Uh, I haven't even ridden the, the bike in the morning because it's been down like 35, 36 degrees. I kind of have a 40 degree limit. When it gets under 40 degrees, I kind of back away and take the car uh, just because I'm a wimp. And plus this 2022, 20, whatever you want to call it, the blue gold wing uh, doesn't have any, you know, doesn't have the hand, little hand, uh, what do you call them? Little wings that protect your hands. It's got the stock windshield, which doesn't protect as well as my F4 Customs windshield does. So uh, 40 degrees is kind of my limit. Anyway, what's your limit? Do you have a limit? 
Uh, I know some of you guys out in Tennessee and some of those other areas, it really starts getting cold this time of year. And I know some of you are hardcore. You'll drive year round. But uh, anyway, 40 degrees is kind of my limit. So I want to take a second to remind you that I have done my initial review of the 2022-2023 Goldwing, and that's on the YouTube channel right now if you haven't seen it already. I think most of you probably have because the views are off the charts. I also did a comparison video between the 2022-2023 and my 2018. Uh, because it's uh, a lot of you out there considering maybe moving up or you're looking to buy a used bike, you're trying to decide what to get. That video is doing extremely well. Thank you very much for all the views. If you like this kind of content, you know, uh, motorcycle reviews, motor vlogs, uh, maintenance, how-to tips, other motorcycle-related product reviews and tips and tricks, or if you just like to see an old guy bitch and moan about his life in general, like his Macintosh, then I would appreciate it if you'd click that subscribe button. And if you click that notification bell, YouTube will never... Well, let me put it this way. YouTube will remind you when a new old man bitch and moan session uh, is posted to this channel, so you don't want to miss that. Okay. Also, take a quick note to say um, uh, my maintenance videos are the reason I can do this. They're what support this channel. There's, uh, you know, without the maintenance video sales, uh, I wouldn't be able to to fund uh, buying this piece of crap Macintosh, paying for all the software, the cameras, the lights, the studio, the makeup. You know, because I want to look beautiful for you. Thousands of Goldwing owners are using these videos to help them maintain their Goldwing, save the money, save all that dealer labor cost. It's outrageously expensive now. If you can even get it done in this economy, I don't know how you can get anything done now. So that is my advertisement. Also, a quick reminder, if you use, I don't put this in every video, if you use promo code YouTube when you place your order for these maintenance videos because you're a YouTube viewer, I'll assume you're a subscriber, but if you're a viewer of this video, when you purchase the maintenance videos, if you'll use that promo code at checkout, you'll save 20% off the videos. So just a little tip. Okay, let me get on to the comments because that's kind of what this is all about, I think that and liquor. I just want to say a, a special thank you to one of our viewers, Back Road Rider. Some of you may know or not know that you can now, through YouTube, you can basically give a creator like myself. They call it super thanks, or you can say thank you. You basically give them money, okay? I added this to my YouTube channel a few months ago, and some people have been very generous, very nice. Some people put in $2, $3, $5, $10 every now and then. Uh, if they see a video that I've done that they particularly like, or maybe it helped them solve a problem, maybe it was one of my how-to videos, I don't know. But Backroad Rider sent me, I hope he didn't mistype it and make a mistake, <clears throat> but he actually sent me a $50 super thanks. And uh, so I just wanted to thank him. Uh, he All he did was say thanks, like, for the video. And this was on my Goldwing Tour review, my 2023 Goldwing review. So he liked it so much uh, that he gave me 50 bucks. Nice. Thank you. I appreciate that. So I just thought I'd throw that in there, make some of you feel guilty if you didn't do that. Anyway, I'm sure that worked. Okay, next. Um... This is from Pinball2002, and he says, Going to keep my 2018. It's paid off, so more money for road trips. It's also my first Goldwing, and I want to see, I want to at least see it roll over 100,000 miles. Now, this really kind of emphasizes one of the points I was trying to make in my review video, that I, I'm faced with a decision. And that is, should I keep my 2018, as Pinball is going to do? Or should I spend the extra money 
to pay the difference between my 2018 and a 2022 or 2023. For me, the 2023 is out because I don't like black and I'm not a fan of ardent red. So really, it'd have to be a blue 2022 and I would like to have a new one. So I don't know if anybody out there knows where one is. Uh, but anyway, bottom line is I'm faced with this decision. You know, I have to think about it. And my point in the video that I really wanted to emphasize is Honda had a real opportunity this year to make it to where it wouldn't even be a decision. I mean, if they had added just a couple of things to the Goldwing, which really wouldn't cost Honda any money at all, how much could it? Well, I say that. I don't know what their cost structure is. But if they would add the newest version of Bluetooth so that we don't have connectivity issues with the headsets, these headsets now are using Bluetooth 5.2, and I think Honda's, uh, the Goldwing is still using 2 point something. Some of you out there will know. You put it in the comments down below. It's in the owner's manual. In fact, John Struha, our fender mine, uh, just told me the other day it's in the back of the owner's manual, and I never took the time to look it up, but apparently it gives the version of Bluetooth, and it's an old version probably from 2018 or 2017. And that, I suspect, is why we tend to have issues. Not everybody, not everybody, but I have a lot of issues connecting uh, Bluetooth headsets to the Goldwing. They don't connect reliably. So I'm not going to get into a rant on that. But uh, basically, what I'm saying is it, Honda had the opportunity to make this a no-brainer. If they had put in the new Bluetooth all the other new features that they've already added in 2021, the bigger trunk, the updates to the DCT transmission. There's a couple of other things. They really need to rework that TFT screen. I mean, uh, I see car reviews all the time of these new cars with electronic TFT dashes. And when you put it in sport mode, you get this cool little graphic with a red uh, gauges. And uh, if you put it in econ mode, you get green background. All we get is this, this plain blah blue. Why have a color TFT screen if you're just going to have a blue? The most colorful thing you do with that screen is CarPlay, Apple CarPlay. Why isn't Apple leveraging the investment that they made in that TFT screen it wouldn't take that much programming. You know, put it in tour mode and it turns a different color. And give us the ability to customize that screen. Give us the ability to add a compass. Uh, maybe I want to add the engine temperature or the a voltmeter or whatever, or maybe a digital speedometer. Why can't I see the speed limit on that screen without the navigation? I know you can do it in navigation. If you can do it in navigation, then they've got that connectivity anyway. Why not just display the speed limit on that TFT screen all the time? Why do I have to go into navigation to see it? So those are just some of my uh, rants, uh, bitching and moaning about the 2022-2023 Goldwing, because if they had done just a few of those things, it wouldn't even be a decision. And of course, the obvious one is more colors. Why don't we have some good colors? I'm so tired of black and, and gray, and let's get some some good, you know, that two-tone blue is really pretty. That was a good theme. Why don't they do that and carry that on with some other colors? Okay, this is from Wes Menzel. I hope I'm saying that right. Cruise man, love your videos. Just bought a 2022 non-tour in matte nightshade blue, which I love. Was wondering if you or anyone hanging around can clarify a couple of things. Uh, I've heard on a couple of sites about the 2021 later models come standard with fog lights and the XM antenna. Is that just for the tour models or do the non-tour ones get some of that love too? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I honestly, I hate to admit it, I don't pay a lot of attention to the non-tour models. But somebody out there knows the answer to this because you probably have a 2021 or 2022 non-tour model. Did it come with fog lights from the factory? Did it come with an XM antenna? Or is that only on the tour models? So that's a pretty quick, uh, as far as the comments, I didn't have a lot of comments to go through tonight. I, I talked a lot about this other stuff. And I'd just be curious to know what's the weather doing in your area? Are you still able to ride? Or have you put your bike up for the winter? Um, 
I've got some new review videos coming. In fact, I've got a couple of, I've got so much crap in this studio. It's, it's, uh, it's about to run me out of here. I've got boxes stacked around of products that uh, companies send me to review stuff. And I got to start getting rid of some of this. Some of it, after I review it, I put it back in the box and it just sits here. Sometimes I sell those things. Sometimes I give them away if I if it's people. I have a windshield sitting here. It's been here a year, maybe over a year. I did a video for F4 Customs where I had to replace a, uh, I think it was a 2016 Goldwing windshield. It was a stock windshield, but it's in really good shape. I mean, it, it it's not perfect, but it's pretty close to perfect. It's in very good shape. If anybody lives in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, that's driving a 2001 to 2017 Goldwing, and you need a new windshield, I'll put my email address in this video. Come by and pick it up. It's yours. I just need to get rid of it. I've got to get some space in here. Uh, I've got a few other things I'm selling. I've got this a brand new set, the Pack Talk Edge. Really nice Bluetooth communicator sitting right here on my table. And... Uh, I think I put it on Facebook. I was going to see if anybody wanted to buy it. I was going to sell it for like 400 bucks. If anybody's interested, email me. Let me know. Brand new. All I did was review it and test it. I mean, I've got probably 10 headsets. I've got at least four or five Cardos. I've got four or five different Senna's plus their camera. I mean, I've got so many headsets, I don't know what to do. I've got a couple of helmets sitting in there I need to review. Actually, three helmets to review. I've got some uh, track armor uh, over here in a box I need to review. I'm doing a review right now of a new Acaso uh, action camera. So, man, it's going to be busy. I'm going to be editing all day tomorrow, try to get some of these videos prepared so when we're out of the country, I can go ahead and release them and have them ready to go. So, anyway... Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps with our YouTube rankings. Also, don't forget, not that you care or if it's any consequence to you, but I have a goal of getting to 50,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. We're at about 48. Well, let me look it up. Okay. We are right now at 48,800 subscribers on my channel. And it's halfway, roughly halfway, or it is halfway through November. I'm trying to get to 50,000 by the end of the year. December's a funky month because you just never know what the traffic's going to be like, what the subscription rates are going to be like in December. But I want to get to 50,000. So if you haven't subscribed already, if you watch this channel and you like the channel, you like old men bitching and moaning about whatever, computers or whatever, uh, please take a second to click the subscribe button. It doesn't cost a thing. It's free. Uh, and uh, I would have really appreciated it. Oh, I just noticed that uh, my 2018 compared to the 2023 or 2022 is already almost at 20,000 views in three days. That's pretty amazing. We're getting a lot of views from people that are not subscribers. In fact, there is a YouTube stat you can look at, and it, it's about 65% of my views come from non-subscribers. So if you're one of those people, please subscribe. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you on the next Crown and Comments, the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog, and the next cruise man's review look forward to seeing you soon don't forget doesn't matter what you ride i could care less or couldn't care less i should say doesn't matter what you ride ride often but ride safe <laughs>